I just got back from the orthopedic and it turns out that my diagnosis is that I have. Good morning friends and welcome back to my channel. So if you remember from last video, actually it was like a couple videos back now, I'm having this leg issue and I went to the doctor, I went to the orthopedic and they sent me for an MRI. The MRI came back. It was a long process of getting this MRI like I was denied twice <laughs> so anyway they ended up accepting me for the mri and i got it and i got the results in so i'm just gonna kind of take you through the day and see what is going on with my leg and besides that i'm just gonna take you through a full day of eating i'm still reverse dieting if you're not sure what that means i have a ton of videos about this on my youtube so go check around but today i am I just upped my calories to 300 more than I, than I ended my cut on. I am going to go back to 1822 today. So that's a lot more food, thankfully. And we'll see where we can go from here. Let's go eat some breakfast. Wait, you say Okay guys, so here is my first meal. I have the oats as I showed you. That mix was cherries, blueberries, and cocoa nibs. There's also plums, but I tried to keep those out. Um, I added some unsweetened coconut flakes on top as well. Some cocoa powder, chocolate chips, peanut butter, etc. And then I have oat milk in here with coffee and a little bit of non-fat whipped cream. And then I always fill up my jug in the morning and I have two of these throughout the day. That is my goal every day is to have at least two. A lot of times I end up having like two and a half. But this is number one so dude basically i have done nothing since the last time i've spoken to put to you i had my breakfast that was a long time ago now it is now 11 6 a.m i have my appointment at 12. i am so scared i'm like smiling right now but on the inside i'm crying so i'm gonna make a quick little lunch eat that up get ready to go to my appointment <laughs> Okay, so I made my lunch. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you the ingredients I used to make it because I had to kind of rush to make it, but this is it. So on the bottom of all of this, there is lettuce, just regular like iceberg lettuce. Um, there's this thing, it's called quinoa duo. It's like quinoa, I think like sweet potatoes or maybe butternut squash. I'm not sure. It is from Trader Joe's. It is amazing. It is a frozen mixture that you just like warm up in the microwave and you get a bunch of servings out of it. Um, so it's an easy meal prep, some chicken, tomatoes, and red pepper. And then I put a little bit of Sriracha Bolt House Farms dressing on top. I've talked about Bolt House Farms before. They're awesome. They're completely like yogurt based dressing. So they're a lot less calorie dense when you're using it. And I just like it. They taste really, really good too. So that is going to be my lunch. And then I'm going to go head out eventually to my doctor's appointment. And then I'll also be drinking, obviously, my water. I have about like a half left of this first round. It is 11 o'clock, so that's not too bad. And then I have another gallon to drink after. It's not a gallon, sorry. It's like half a gallon maybe. But I also have to go to the gym still later. So I'm, I know I'm going to be drinking a lot there. We are on our way to my appointment. I have my mom with me. She's my little support today. So, <laughs> we're gonna be finding out what um, the action plan is from here. And we have my MRI with me. And this will probably be a really long appointment because this doctor is known to take a long time. So, here goes nothing. Hi. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, and you're just so cute. All right, you guys. So, I just got back from the orthopedic, and it turns out that my diagnosis is that I have. A stress fracture it is a non-display stress fracture which basically means you know a stress fracture is like a crack in your bone um, from overtraining overuse etc and a non displaced one displaced one means there's nothing like that has broken off of it so you don't need surgery or anything I also caught it pretty early so I don't even need crutches which is blessed because last time I had it a stress fracture same leg same bone I 
needed crutches because it got so bad my knee was swelling and everything like that and you could actually see the crack on the x-ray which is not common so what this means for me i have six weeks until i go back to the doctor to get it checked out again and hopefully get a hundred percent approval that it is healed until then i have to avoid impact things any sort of jumping plyometrics so any sort of like hit with like jumping circuits i can't do any of that but the one thing he gave me that I can do, which I'm so hype about, is weight training. That is not really weight training. It's going to be super high rep, super low weight weight training, but it's better than doing nothing. So he said I can do that, giving my bones plenty of room to heal, but still being able to use my muscles, which makes me so, so, so happy. But I want to chat a little bit about why this has happened because this is something that, you know, as an influencer, I have a responsibility to give you guys helpful information, um, but also keep you safe. So as you know, I was cutting for a pretty decent time. I was cutting from January until like June because I just kept falling back into not cutting and like losing progress. So I would just continue the cut for a long time. And it got to the point in June where I finally was done. Like I was done cutting. I was doing so much cardio, so many workouts. Like I was working out six or seven times a week, doing so many lifts, so many cardio sessions. And I was eating, you know, not, I wasn't starving myself. Like I was eating plenty, but it just wasn't, it was a deficit, you know? So I wasn't necessarily getting enough nutrients that I needed. Specifically calcium, you know, I don't take calcium supplements or anything like that. So I was probably lacking on the calcium side of things during the deficit. So what happens, this is actually super common for female athletes. You along this route, you also end up losing your menstrual cycle, which I did. I lost it for seven weeks, which, you know, some people lose it for longer, but I lost it for seven weeks. I was in a deficit. I was probably not getting enough nutrients and I was training a lot, probably overtraining. This caused me to get a stress fracture in my femur. We actually looked at the MRIs today. There's basically, you can see like all this edema built up in the actual bone, which tells them that there's a stress fracture. So, you know, I posted on my story the other day and I think it's just something that we need to think about as athletes and as, you know, people who are trying to get fit or whatever. There's a fine line between fit and health. And if you're crossing the line where you're no longer doing something that's healthy for you, but it's, you know, getting you more fit or more lean or whatever it is that you want to do, you got to reevaluate it. And this has just opened my eyes completely to, I'd always wanted to get a certain appearance goal, whatever. When it causes things like this, like stress fractures, that's so not worth it because now i'm not going to be training for six weeks the way i want to be training so just be careful with yourself realize that food is not just you know to help you get to a certain physique but it's also to keep your body functioning properly it's to keep your bones intact it's to keep your body intact like it's to keep things moving through your body you need nutrients and that's something that i've definitely learned and i need to continue learning specifically micronutrients i have slacked a lot on that previously and i'm ready to finally kick it to the curb where I stop eating so many processed things just because they're macro friendly and start getting into more micros. That I did during my lunch, okay? I'm super proud about that. So that's what's happening. It happens, I have to heal, but I'm just happy I'm not on crutches and I can still do a little bit of lifting slash resistance training. Okay, so that's about it. I'm gonna continue taking you through my day of this full day of eating on the refeed. I'm still gonna continue my refeed because the more nutrients are going to help me heal faster anyway. And I'd rather heal faster than not, okay? Love you. Okay guys, so I'm drinking my greens this morning as I always drink my Bomar greens, but I'm going to use this Peak Hydrate Citrus Ionic Mineral Water. It is your calories and it is so good. So I'm gonna mix the two together and have that for my morning drink before I eat anything. Hello, so I've been absolutely miserable at vlogging. Yesterday was actually the day of most of what you've seen, so I kind of forgot to continue vlogging yesterday, but today I have done nothing again but work. I've eaten breakfast and lunch and everything, but now I'm gonna go head out to the gym. So I just want to update you guys a little bit on what's going on with the gym because I am having a little bit of a split change. Obviously, as I told you guys, I cannot be do training legs the way I was, and I am going to take about a week off of legs before I go back into doing some like lower weight, higher rep things. But I'm also going to San Diego in 20 days. So I'm gonna start implementing a little bit of cardio just to sort of reduce some water retention, just feel better overall i'm not going to decrease calories at all i'm actually increasing calories i'm at 1800 right now i'm going to keep that way but i'm going to be doing three cardio sessions a week for 20 minutes it's an hour of cardio total all low intensity steady state 
that is the current split change i'm going to be doing this until i go on vacation on the 20th nothing extreme i'm not like trying to cut down for the vacation um it's not really a vacation it's a trip but still so i am going to the gym soon so i'm going to be eating this right here it is a tomato basil rice cake and a hard-boiled egg so it's gonna be my little like pre-workout snack something super quick gonna get changed and get ready to go and then i'll talk to you guys later See,